Well, we got our power meter back. And we got a Kirby Classic 3 on an airflow box. Let's see what we can get. So we were sitting around, well actually let me take the tripod off of the phone. So we were pretty much sitting at 118.3.1.2 volts throughout the test. And we got 100 and technically 144 CFM, especially if you could bump it up to like 119 volts running. That would have been 144 CFM. So We'll say 144 CFM out of this guy. 
So that pretty much wipes out uh, my G5, G6, and Diamond Edition. And even my Centria 1 with the older style Emptor on it. It actually tied with my Centria 1's highest record, which was 144 CFM with the newer style Emptor on. I think the Centria 1 that they had slightly higher volts. So that means this guy and the Centria 1 are tied, which means the only Kirby that can get above this is my Avalier. No other Kirby can get higher than this. One is tied with it, my Centria 1, but it can't get higher than it with the older style bag. So, there you go. So, Kirby Classic 3 definitely wins the airflow category. Um, I have a water lift gauge, so let's see how much uh, water lift we can get out of it. pretty close to 20 so I think that's uh, like yeah it was pretty close to the 20 so I'm gonna say like 16 17 inches of water lift or something like that but anyways so there you have it the classic three uh, definitely wins the uh, a lot of airflow um, Lots and lots of airflow out of this guy. I will say that. <laughs> I just can't get over that. So there you go. So Kirby Classic 3 fans rejoice. The Kirby Classic 3 got technically 144 CFM. Especially if it had slightly higher volts. It would definitely break 144 CFM. So thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more.